I'm Eric Farhadi, and this is my dad, James Farhadi. He was born February 5th, 1961. He served in the war between Iraq and Iran, which is also known as the First Persian Gulf War. His highest rank achieved was sergeant, and he was, he's from Aladan, Iran. And uh, this interview is being conducted for the Veterans History Project for the Library of Congress. So, tell me, why did you enter the service? Well, <clears throat> after you finish your high school in Iran, you got to serve there, go to the army, or you go to a college if you pass the test mm -hmm. to get into to the university. Okay. But uh, I got accepted in the university, so I went to the university, and after I finished the university, I joined the army, mm -hmm. because uh, you have to, in Iran, is mandatory, it's two years mandatory, 18 months mm -hmm. during the peace, and six months get extended uh, if there is any war between two countries. And we have to, you know, join the army and uh, serve the army for a couple years. Mm -hmm. So, how was like training? Like, or what was it like? Well, training the first three months is like a physical training to mm -hmm. make your body stronger. Strength exercises. Yes, and. Uh, they teach you how to use the gun and how to aim, how, mm -hmm. and um, the, after that it is two month, two extra months. If you have a college education, you go to the another two two more months training. Right. And uh, so in those two months of training, like since you were educated, what did they have you do? Well, I got the pick uh, to be doing the office work during the day and at night was the um, taking the soldier, putting on the, locate them in the uh, different area and they were supposed to guard the, mm -hmm. like the warehouses or the area we have uh, guns and they were mm -hmm. protecting those area and I had to check them uh, to see they're okay. And like since you had to do it at night, did you have to check if they fall asleep too? Yes, that's one of the things we have to sometimes they sneak on them in a good way, you know, to train them. You cannot sleep when you are um, guarding something because yeah. you always have to be aware of the surrounding. Uh -huh. And uh, did you, since you were doing office work, was there ever a time? Like you had to go to the front, like they had to have you go there? Or? Well, the first 18 months I got uh, sent to the infantry group and uh, for that first uh, 18 months my lieutenant tried to keep me in the base because I was, uh, I had the education and I could do the other pa paperwork for other soldiers and uh, do documentation and um, file the, all the information about each soldier and the sergeant or officer. And uh, for the last six months, because during the war, I served the army during the war, so it's a mandatory, they get the, your service get extended for six months. And at that time, they put the soldier and whoever is in the army serving it in the drawing pool of drawing you know to draw to see who's going in the at the front mm -hmm. and uh, i think uh, they want me to stay in the base and do the work for the other soldiers so my officer kicked me in the, in the base so then he didn't have your name answered in the no he didn't uh, he put the he decided not to. Because he needed you? He office. needed me in the office because I was trained to do those things. Okay. And uh, did you have any siblings or family members that served? At the same time when I was serving the army, my brother was serving the army and uh, 
west of Iran and uh, he was volunteer to go at the front and uh, fight the enemy and uh, he he was uh, sometimes they were sending him at night midnight to go you know hide some area and uh, see how many enemy forces in that area and they report that to the base. So it was very risky to do that? It was very risky and very dangerous. Did uh, your dad serve as well? My dad served the army, he joined the army, he went to the navy. He got uh, drafted and he went to the navy and uh, he served the army at that time. I don't remember exactly what he was doing but he told me he was uh, military police and they were sending him to capture those soldiers that escaped from the Prison? army. Oh, just from the army because it's the he's supposed to get them, bring them back to the base to serve the army. Oh, just because if they were like scared, they would. They were uh, scared because uh, it's them. Yeah, so then they would run away, and your dad would run go away. and get a get them. Yeah, his group was um. Here they call it MP, military police. Yeah. He was serving the army as a military police. Okay. <coughs> and so, like, you said your brother, my uncle, well, <coughs> he did the risky work, like, going out to the field watching the people. Was there, like, any, like, instance where he said it was, like, really scary or, like, well, like one you got day, really, really close to like a full-out battle, like right then and there. Well, there is many times he was uh, in danger to be captured, but uh, some of the soldier in that different area, his friend, they got captured and um, they got uh, tortured and they got killed because they want to scare the soldier not to come to that area. And at the time, like, between the war between Iran and Iraq, were there, like, any, like, people, like, revolutionaries that were going against the government at the same time, like, getting political? At the same time, when we had the war between Iran and Iraq, there was some uh, group, Iranian, they called them Kurdish, they tried to be independent from, uh, they want to get separated from Iran and create a country there. So those people, they were fighting, killing the soldier, because uh, they were Iranian, but they you were... You never tell. You couldn't tell. Sometimes they were... They were um, tied their bomb, you know, to their chest, and they go to the base, they blow up to, you know, destroy the base. And there was... Um, a lot of stuff and like that was happening and government decided to send more troops there and <coughs> to stop the, you know, those action. To put an end to the revolution? Put an end to the revolution. Okay. But uh, it was ongoing. It was bad. Probably. It was bad. It was bad for the soldier because we were fighting Iraqis. And at the same time. And at the same time we were fighting the revolution. revolutionary people. <clears throat> and like during the service, did you have any friends that served with you? Yeah, after we entered the army, some of my friends they were we were trained together, and uh, they were unlucky. They were, they've been sent at the front. Oh, they were sent to the front. They sent to the front, and uh, I remember a couple of my friends. One of them was. Uh, driving the army vehicle with uh, other friends and the muscle hit the vehicle and they got killed and they never find the whole body of these people because it was explosion was massive uh -huh. and uh, how is your um, like after your months of service how, like, how did it come to an end? Why well, in Iran uh, you serve the army, it's a mandatory, after you're done with uh, school, it's mandatory to go to army. And uh, when you serve the 18 months and other six months, 
they they let you go unless you want to stay there and uh, but you know you have to they bring more soldiers so they let the uh, people that want to serve two years to go do they have you like any paperwork to go out or they just like say here no when you are done the lieutenant your officer has to sign it and the, the major for that base who was was in charge for that base has to sign it and they give you two cards one card is indicate you served the army for 18 months and the other one is served say you served the army six months during the war mm -hmm. that's the mandatory one i mean all of them is mandatory iran army serving the army is mandatory did your brother uh, serve the same amount of time as you? Yes, he did, and because it's two years for everybody during the war. But, but if it's the peace, peace time, it's only 18 months. Uh, and did he get out before you? Or at the same yeah, time? he finished one year because he started one year earlier, because he started one year earlier. Yeah. And so, you were in the last one to finish? Yeah, I was the last started. one. And uh, so when you went back home, were your, was your parent really happy to see you? They were really excited to see me, and uh, I was uh, safe, and uh, you were alive. I was alive, and uh, yeah, one thing was good about the education, because I had the education, they trained me to be in at the base to do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. If you have a higher education, always is helping you. And uh, are the pictures from? This is the picture when I joined the army. And that's your seal. That's yes. Saying, like you were. I am office, working the office, office work. worker. Yes. Yeah. That's his picture. And then. That's the picture of your dad? This is my dad when he started the army, joined it, got drafted. This is my grandpa. And, and that's when like one year was, after? One year, around one year after. That's him again. So, thank you for doing this history project. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs>